Welcome back. We're going to jump into chapter 5 1 now. So go ahead and load your data or continue if you left off. We're going to get a boat ride from Ada right up to the island. So I'm going to skip that and we'll get started. So we'll run right in. We're going to pick a few things up and then we're going to meet a few new enemies and a new kind of mini boss enemy that we're going to come across a few times. So we'll go pick up an emerald and hopefully some magnum ammo. The box on the left up there is random, but the box on the right is always an emerald, every single time. So we'll just knife that, so there's the emerald, oh we got money. Can we see those guys? Because we'll be going to that room later. But once you've got those, jump back down and head back to that little wooden bridge that we ran next to. And we're going to head across. So I'm going to pull up my TMP because we're going to shoot one bullet at a light to save us some time. Because I think we'd rather not get spotted. So before you jump across, shoot out that light. Yep, so Ashley's being taken away. There's a guy right there. I'm going to wait for him to come around before we activate our first mini boss guy because he is right here right off the bat he's not too hard if you have the, the same rifle that I do now with the 30 power he only takes about four shots to the face which all in all for a mini boss isn't that bad okay so once he's down we'll switch to our rifle just approach this little cutout right here and that's what we'll spawn him so zoom in and just shoot him in the face. Wait for him to put both hands on the gun like that so that you can stun him. So there's three shots. And there's four. So four shots will take him down. So now you can run around and you can pick up his loot. We can go ahead and activate the puzzle so that we can save a little bit of time here. So you just want to press the light right there to get the, the laser over the, on the mirror. Okay, so we'll knock him down. I'm going to use the TMP, just because the TMP can take care of these guys pretty quick. Because at this point, with the exclusive on the TMP, we can output a good bit of damage with it pretty quick. Okay, so like these three guys right here, I can just wail on them and get criticals. So make sure that nobody jumps out of the window behind you here. Keep an eye out for those guys because the guys with the stun guns are pretty quick. Because the stun gun doesn't take a whole lot to swing. It doesn't have a big wind-up. Now, as much as I would usually say knife everybody, in this case, there are a few too many of them, so just take them out. Damn it, I wanted to use that. Okay. So I just want to be green. Now that we've already hit the laser, we can just come right over here. Well, I need to get the TMP ammo that's in the house here. And we'll go up top to that first laser that the beam is bouncing off of. What we're going to do, do is we're going to turn that clockwise, nope, counterclockwise, to the other laser. So counterclockwise, just so that it reflects off. It just needs to look like that, nothing more. It doesn't have any specific spot that it needs to be in. Now we'll come over to the other laser. There are three magnum bullets at the top. Those are guaranteed. They're going to be in a white circle just over here. They will not disappear because they're just they're waiting for you. It's not like you had to blow up a barrel to get those. And just put this in that orange circle. The door will go up and we can head right through it. And this first bit up until we save Ashley is a good bit of just what I would say is an introduction to this complex. Okay, so right here, be careful of that boulder. 
they will try to push that down on you. Oh, I've got my shotgun in now. So be ready for a quick time event. And that's that. You cannot shoot the guys. They are gone. So it's not like you're going to catch them off guard. Graver barrels will push on. There should be two, gu <laughs> two guys in here. Now I will try to maybe knife this guy. Since it's just the two of them. Because a man can hope to... Oh, I was hoping I could suplex that plug into death. Because he is way too close for my liking. There's nothing else in here, so just take the ladder up. Right here is a fight uphill. We can actually make this a pretty quick fight, if you'd like. Now, there are a few... Oh, I was hoping for a critical. Because what we're uh, we're up on the cliff here, so uh, get our critical. Hope for anything to drop, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump across. Again, I'm gonna get the TMP out because we should be able to get our golden links here. Okay, so that guy in the back that just pointed at us, there's three of them. So you just want to take care of them. Come back and get your red herb, and then shoot that barrel. Because that will destroy the wall to the golden links right here. Nope. Walk around. Be careful, because those spikes do have an invisible wall that you can get stuck on, and it's just annoying. So we'll get our golden links. We'll head back out to the area. So just around. There is an emerald over to the left, if you want it. But otherwise, it's just how to look in to see where the links is. So from over here, which I don't believe we can see the guy. So I'm going to pick off that guy first. A guy with dynamite is going to start standing right here. And he is a pain in the ass. So if you can, try to take him out pretty quick. Same with that guy with the rocket launcher. Oh, guy threw, threw down some dynamite there. Oh, I'm just going to run past him here. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to head up top. And I'm going to shoot the barrels on that cart. Whoa. Okay, and they are right behind me. Okay, now the quick fight here is just to turn to the right at the end. Jump down. Jump down, and then just go through the door. I recommend that to save your bullets. There is a merchant. If you really want to talk to him, you can. They won't aggro you while you're talking to him. But otherwise, just push forward. So take out the archer first. I really just want to shoot these guys in the knees. Because I don't want to burn up all my team's DM on here. Once they're down, just head through the door here at the end. Oh, no. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. So I'm going to pull out my shotgun, because almost everything in here is exclusively close range until the end. The door that was just behind us, if you take a look at that, leads to an area a little bit further in. Don't worry about it right now, it's locked. So we'll deal with this guy. Everything that you're going to find now that's worthwhile, for the most part, is in these briefcases. So keep an eye out for those. And we have one little jump scare right here, right out of this furnace. So just fire as fast as you can. He only takes one shot. But take care of him. And then there's a grenade on the sink here. So then we'll enter the door at the end. Okay, if you can hear Ashley screaming for you again... You're in a part where you meet one of our new big standard standard big enemies. I'll show you another version of another one of him. 
is down here. Right there. So you want to keep an eye out for those guys. Mostly because they're just big. transforms so there's that too but you can take off a, take out a few of those guys right from the top okay so they are weaker on their underside and that's why you'll see them turn over like that two guys are going to come down the stairs here and one of them will have a shield okay If they slide down the stairs, they're not dead. Enemies that are alive will slide. So that's a helpful way to tell if you've got an enemy that's still kicking. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that'll clear out the room. Now we need to grab a few things down here in the bottom. So we're going to grab the red stone. And we're going to grab a yellow herb. The yellow herb will be way around in the back, in the wine cellar. And once we've got that, we'll swing back out to leave. And we'll go attend to the cries of the Ashley. So grab your handgun ammo. You probably won't be able to grab the money here. No, you won't be able to. So you'll watch the cinema, you'll see that Ashley's trapped. It'll mark it on your map. It doesn't matter. It's a linear path anyway. I don't really know why they mark it. You can't miss it. But your 5,000 is just behind you in that locker. So we'll take off. Okay. There is a merchant here. I usually don't buy anything from him. Just because... Well, no, that's, a, that's not even true. He is selling the tactical vest now. And the tactical vest will save you 30% damage. What are you so I'm buying? definitely going to buy the tactical <laughs> vest. What are you selling? Then I'm going to sell any spinels, if we have any, still have any violet blues, <laughs> or emeralds. <laughs> I'm going to sell my elegant mask, but Thank keep you. the red stone and the golden links. Anything like this, like a green stone or a blue stone, keep them. They combine with the links. What are you buying? Uh, what are you yeah. buying? So the Killer 7 there that you saw on the list is the Magnum that you can buy. I don't recommend buying it quite yet. Ooh, I could finish up both of those. <laughs> I'd rather do that. Thank then. you. So I'll hang on for now. But what we need to do here is this will be a quick... Kind of a... <laughs> Hopefully I got the guy inside as well. There we go. Okay. So there's a guy controlling the door from right back there, supposedly. And he closes the door if you get too close. Which is why I was using the TMP. go okay yeah we'll keep up the TMP because we need to take up three quick archers here the door will close and then immediately reopen okay never mind it's if you're close enough the door will close and reopen okay so I knocked him down I'll give him a quick knife and that clears out this room. So there's a red box over here that we can get something from. Good. I need some of that. And then we can take off. Okay. This is where you're going to meet probably your creepiest enemy of the game. They're called Regenerators. They, as the name would kind of insinuate, regenerate their body parts. So they are... 
a little more dangerous than your typical enemy, but they can be managed very well because they move very slowly. Now, we don't have any enemies between us and the regenerator, so just go ahead and grab your rifle. That way you're ready. There's no way to mess up. But actually, right at the beginning, if we run the other direction, we can get a brass pocket watch. We can grab the green herb. And if you really want to, you can unlock that door. So then from there, we'll head up. Then we'll grab the item from this red box right here. We'll come around and we'll go through the double doors at the end. They're going to show you the regenerator right here. It's this gray thing on the table. Super creepy. Not hard to get away from, but like I say, still quite dangerous. So red. Get red pointing down get green pointing down and then just turn blue and by pointing down I mean the the two on the right so we'll grab our TMP ammo then around the corner we need to grab our waste management card or a freezer card we're gonna make that a waste management card now I'm gonna fight this first regenerator he's gonna drop 5,000 cash so if you really want to fight them and make the money you can they take a lot He's going to take six rifle shots. And he's going to come through that door. They are super creepy. And very tough. They can be killed with an alternative method. Which is... You can get the, the thermal scope, which I'll show you that as well. And the thermal scope will show you parasites in their body. And if you shoot the parasites of a regenerator, they should die. If you shoot the parasites in an Iron Maiden, you still have to shoot them about three times. Okay, so there's a regenerator around that corner. So I recommend just shooting one round and then getting your rifle ready. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, again, they're very slow. They do not run ever. So you have plenty of time. Three, four, five, one more, six. Now, they're at their creepiest if you shoot off their legs. If you shoot off their legs, they'll kind of squiggle around like a snake. And if you get too close, they will jump at you to attack you. My only issue is that they will jump at you to attack you even if you've shot their face off and their primary mode of damage is biting you. There's two shots. Three. Four. Five. Six. So they technically have about... They have between... 151 and 180 health. Since they take 30 power times 6. So we'll just want to grab a few things around the room from the red box and the, the briefcase. Then we'll use our freezer card right here. And I'm going to show you fighting a regenerate at very close range. I don't like doing it because it is very close range. And we are unable to get out of here until it dies. So go ahead and convert your card. Now, if you'd like, you can just leave. And we can go ahead and you can just skip this part with the regenerator. Because I'll jump right into that afterward. But you get your thermal scope. So I'm going to make sure that I have room for it here. big one of those. Because I want the scope to sit right at the end of my rifle there. So we'll take that. The infrared scope. So the door locks. That guy falls out of his hooking. And he comes after us. So you go ahead and you strap that on. You 
should be able to watch him walk up to you. So there he is right there. Okay, like I say, parasites in the body are what you want to shoot. So, like I say, very close range. I don't like it. Shit. Oh, there it is. See, and they jump up at you. And the biggest downside that I have here. Okay, good. Is that because he's so close, it's hard to get out of that room. Okay, he should be getting his leg back here soon. And that's why I don't really like to fight them, because like I say, close range is rather annoying. But we got him. So that only took four shots that time. Instead of six, because we shot at the parasites. So, once you've either left the room or taken care of him, we'll head up to this door in the orange light. We'll use our waste management card. And we'll go through it. Okay, be sure to grab your TMP ammo and your grenade in this room. So, we'll kick this open. There's your grenade. If you activate these controls, we can get rid of all of the enemies for free. So, just make sure that both of their shadows are in that shadow. And you can pick both of them up. And you can drop them. Same thing with these two. Just make sure that they're in that shadow. Just like that. And they think they're clever, and you can just pick them right up. So we'll take care of this last guy here. We'll go grab some handgun ammo, a green herb, and an emerald, I believe. So we'll grab him. Because you only get three uses of the machine. After the third use, the machine goes inoperable. So then we'll jump down. The green herb should be right there. There should be handgun ammo as well. Maybe I'm going crazy for that. Then there's an emerald right over here by the dumpster. So I'm going to go ahead and heal again because I've been a little low. And then we'll push forward and we'll go up the stairs. This room will play a key part a little bit later. It has a, a fun little sequence where you get you're at a you're at a pretty bad angle, so that's what makes it fun. Is it? It's kind of a, a fast-paced stressful. Okay, so here's Ashley. Around this corner are two big guys. What I recommend doing is getting their attention and running, because they should walk at you for the most part. Oh, hey, friend. But if they don't, you can always knock them down with the shotgun and get them while they're standing up. Oh my god. Right as I'm about to snipe them. That's when they want to play Big Bad Thor. Okay, so there's one. There's two. Once you take care of them, the room is wide open. So, nope, nope. I'm gonna use another heal. This time I'm gonna use a big one. I wanna be at full health. Ashley is very annoying. The only way to shut her up is to go talk to her. Thank you. Stop. I know that you're here. So we're gonna push through the next door. We've got a good number of enemies coming up here. So I'm already gonna go ahead and get the TMP out. Because one guy should come running up. Oh, there he is. Yes, I realize that you have a boss, but don't you stop shooting at me. Crossbowman is probably your biggest hassle there, only because he's at a, a pretty bad angle to aim at right from the door. But otherwise, once you get them done, just come grab your shotgun ammo. We're going to head through the next door here. At the end of the hallway is a typewriter and a green herb, because in the next room we're going to get to fight what's referred to as an Iron Maiden. It's like a regenerator on steroids. 
So I'm going to go and pull out my rifle. I'm going to kick the door in. And right on this TV right here that's red, so that center one, that's where he's going to come from. So I'm going to grab my ammo. I run back through the door because it's the safest place you can be. He can only come through this door right here. And he comes up to you pretty quick. So there he is. Okay, same thing. Take out the parasites as fast as you can. And like I said, this guy's going to take a couple more hits even after the parasites are taken care of. So there's all the parasites. Oh, he's got one on his back. That's what it is. How in the hell are you supposed to hit him on the back? But he's got the card to unlock Ashley's room, so you have to fight him. Okay, once you've fought him, we're not quite done in this area. There should be a little bit more to find through these rooms. So there's a briefcase over here. There are several herbs in here. There's an emerald in this last case if you break it. So there's a red herb here and a green herb two down. Okay, there's shotgun ammo. You can break a little bit more of the glass if you'd like to, but through the door at the end and the green door, we're going to get a bunch of free stuff here. So go ahead and combine that if you've got one. And grab yourself a flash grenade, because you see all those birds? Go ahead and throw your grenade. Take out all the birds. You're going to make back your flash grenade, so don't worry. But you're going to make a bunch of money. You can speak with the merchant here if you'd like. If you come across your now 15,000 from regenerators and 5,000 from the crow, so 20,000. We should be able to get some more upgrades. Got a we have a couple of emeralds. What are you selling? So we should be able to make some, some decent money. <laughs> so just still just Thank hang on to your stone and your links. If you'd like, you can combine them so that you don't risk selling one of them. I would recommend that you if you think you it? might. So I can go ahead and probably pump up this thing. I definitely want to get some power behind it because it's Thank not been doing very well. Thank you. Okay, so 75,000 more. Come back at any time. Bad. Okay. If you head up the elevator here, you should be able to get some shotgun ammo, a green herb, and a little bit more story about Leon trying to activate the radio. And by story, it's more Leon reaching out for an SOS and the radio being dead. So we just run around, because the shotgun ammo is in here, and we have to have a little cutscene to pick it up. Oh, no we don't. Good. If you want to watch the cutscene, you can. It's just Leon trying out the radio, and it doesn't work. Obviously, because if the radio worked, that'd be game over. They'd send in a helicopter and just pick us up here. Because we're about to save Ashley. So just head back the way you came through the Iron Maiden back to Ashley's room. We're going to unlock her door. We've got one more little fight in front of us before then. It's just a bunch of regular enemies in that room with the, the bad angle of the archer. There are three archers and I believe three or four enemies. So actually, give me this. Well, no, I'll use the handgun. It's sad that I have more magnum ammo than I do rifle ammo now. Damn it. Okay, so typical thing, if you want to use your TMP here just because it, it crowd controls a lot better. Mostly because you can knock out their knees. So I'm going to switch to my shotgun as well because now that it has a little bit new pa new power, it might actually be worth it. For a while there, it wasn't worth much because I hadn't pumped it up. But once they're dead, just head to the top. Kick the door in. And then let's save Ashley. So we'll go and unlock her door. So just use your card key. Walk around the corner and Ashley will be pleased to see you. Leon. You okay? 
Okay, and that'll be the end of chapter 5-1. So we've got four more coming up. The next one, I believe, has the, the infamous knife fight that I like with the dump bulldozer part that Ashley magically knows how to drive, but not a problem. At least she knows how to do something. And until then, this has been The Humble Guy, and enjoy!